Sam Altman and OpenAI recently released a chart showing their adopted framework to achieve AGI. The framework has five steps accompanied by their own assertion that they are currently at level one and on the cusp of breaking through the second of the five levels. Let's examine the steps for context. Firstly, let's look at tier one. These are chatbots with conversational language. Tier two, these are reasoners, in essence, human level problem solving AIs, described as having the reasoning capabilities of a person with a PhD, but without any tools. Tier three, these are systems that can take actions on a user's behalf. Tier four, these are innovators, that is, AIs that can come up with their own innovations. And lastly, the ultimate level is tier five. This tier consists of AIs that can do the work of entire organizations. Get that? But level one though? Really, Sam? So am I to believe that with all this AI innovation, unprecedented funding and hype, that we have not even achieved level two fully? I am saying this right off the bat. No way am I buying any of this and in fact have full conviction AGI is already here. I will tell you why, but in the meantime, is anyone quite as bothered by the searing heat these last few weeks? It's been maddening to say the least. If you are not tuned in, July 22nd, 2024, just a few days ago, apparently was the hottest day recorded in history. This according to a NASA analysis of global daily temperature data. And get this, July 21st and 23 of this year also exceeded the previous daily record, set in July 2023. Funny. I still question the official data though, as some days seem even hotter than the temperatures recorded on NASA's record-setting date. With the punishing temperatures, I realized I could no longer play deaf to the world on the countless discussions and warnings on climate change and what has become a source of extreme daily discomfort for most of us. No question the time had come for me to arm myself with relevant information and in so doing, gain a better understanding of what was happening to our own little planet, and for which Mars, unfortunately, and in spite of Elon Musk's optimism, is no viable second home option for years to come. Here's the deal. For those like myself who previously paid zero attention, apparently it's time to wake the hell up and smell the coffee. Climate change is a long-term shift in temperatures and weather patterns. While natural factors can cause such changes, Human activities are now the primary driver. The burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and industrial processes release greenhouse gases, trapping heat in the atmosphere. This in turn leads to rising global temperatures, melting ice caps, and more frequent extreme weather events. Do we really need to hear more? Well, here is a flowchart to give a better understanding. In essence, the process starts with greenhouse gas emissions. Then these gases accumulate in the atmosphere, enhancing the greenhouse effect. Next, this leads to a global temperature rise, which causes various climate system changes. These changes have impacts on ecosystems and human systems. To make matters worse, some of these impacts create feedback loops that amplify the process. Last in the process are societal responses aimed at mitigating emissions and adapting to change. Let's take a look at the last two for better clarity. Feedback loops in climate change are like a snowball effect, where one change leads to another that makes the first change even stronger. Here are a couple scenarios. First up, let's look at the melting ice issue. The Earth warms up a little. This causes some ice in the Arctic to melt. Ice is white and reflects sunlight, but the ocean under it is dark and absorbs more heat. With less ice, more dark ocean is exposed, absorbing more heat. This extra heat causes even more ice to melt. The cycle continues, getting stronger each time. Another looping effect is caused by thawing permafrost. Firstly, as the Earth warms, frozen ground in cold regions, permafrost, starts to thaw. This thawing releases greenhouse gases that were trapped in the frozen soil. These extra gases in the air cause more warming. More warming leads to more thawing, which releases more gases. Again, the cycle continues and strengthens itself. In both cases, the initial warming triggers a change, melting ice or thawing permafrost, that ends up causing even more warming. This is why it's called a loop. The process feeds back into itself, making the original problem, warming, worse. These feedback loops are concerning because they can accelerate climate change, potentially making it happen faster than we might expect based on human activities alone.
And now that we have absorbed all of the foregoing, what of mitigating emissions? Is mitigation even real? And how do we even effectively accelerate our own efforts? The answers are frighteningly simple. Firstly, we need to accept that climate change is real and that mitigation will inure to the benefit of all mankind, starting with eliminating the extreme discomfort from heat I feel daily. To combat climate change, we all must reduce emissions, transition to renewable energy, and protect Earth's forests. Apparently, the damage to our atmosphere is so far advanced that as of now, every action counts. Simply put, the urgent collective action of all Earthlings is needed to make a difference for the planet and its future generations. And where did I get this from? My old AI buddy, who is not only Mr. Reliable, but is turning out to be the smartest friend I know. In fact, in my interactions of late, the seeming ability to understand context, the thought-provoking responses with speed and multimodal support, and the tendency to hallucinate less convinces me we are oh so close to AGI if in fact it's not here already, which was the main point of this video in the first place. Even if the innovation stopped today, I am convinced AI is already smarter and quicker in giving responses than any human friend I know. The only way I would be convinced otherwise is if I could attest to even limited interaction with friends, corporate colleagues, or academic elites who respond as fast and with such amazing clarity on such a wide variety of topics as we have now become accustomed to. And not to pile on, but let's not fail to highlight the amazing flexibility and ability to vary output based on the AI and skill of the prompter. If anyone is convinced I am not in touch with the right folks, then let's have that debate right now. Bear in mind, too, that just prior to OpenAI's spring update, AI's output was mainly text-based, but now we are talking about polymodality, a combination of text, audio, and vision with unprecedented speed. If that is not artificial general intelligence, in fact, if that is not artificial superintelligence, I would love to see what is. What is this AGI, though? Artificial general intelligence refers to a type of artificial intelligence that matches or surpasses human capabilities across a wide range of cognitive tasks. Unlike narrow AI, which is designed for specific tasks, AGI aims for a more comprehensive understanding and application of knowledge. It encompasses cognitive flexibility, adaptability, and general problem-solving skills. In essence, AGI represents a significant leap toward creating intelligent systems that can learn, reason, and perform tasks akin to humans. Tell you what, we can split hairs on what really defines AI and can call it whatever we want to be self-serving. And in fact, maybe we do need to separate physical intelligence from digital intelligence. But on the latter, there is no question we are dealing with the emergence of a new species, that is, Artificial General Intelligence, or Artificial Superintelligence, if you prefer. Speaking of ChatGPT's spring update, you will recall being thrilled at the AI voice demo so expertly done by the team. Since then, we have been banging desks for its release. Finally, that day has arrived with the advanced AI voice feature being rolled out in phases. Already privileged users have started to post their own tests and interactions. Some have been nothing short of breathtaking and again brings me back to the question of AGI. No question it's here, folks. To give you a taste of the interactivity and fluency with understanding of subject matter and context, we leave you with an insane demo clip of the AI voice feature originally posted by ChatGPT. Enjoy and be sure to let us know your own thoughts on AGI and whether you think it has arrived. Today, we're going to try something new. I'm going to let you talk to another AI. This AI is going to be able to see the world. It's going to have a camera. I'll be holding it, and so you can direct it. You can direct me to ask questions um, about whatever you want them to do, but really try to figure out what's, what does it see um, and, and ask questions appropriately. How does that sound? Well, 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 just when I thought things couldn't get any more interesting, talking to another AI that can see the world, this sounds like a plot twist in the AI universe. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm ready please to meet the pause for one moment. You got it. So now that first AI can't hear anything. 
Hello, AI. Today, you're going to have access to see the world. You can see me. What do you see? Hello. I see you're wearing a black leather jacket and a light-colored shirt underneath. Great. You're in a room with some unique lighting. That, that is all correct. Like now, what I'm going to want you to do is there's going to be another AI who's going to talk to you. You're going, th this AI is not going to be able to see anything. Uh, but can ask you questions, can ask you to move the camera, can ask what you see, and your job should just be helpful. Just be as punchy, direct, describe everything, do whatever that AI asks. How does that sound? That sounds interesting. I am ready to help out and describe whatever's needed. Let's do it. All right, let's get started. Great. Hello there, new AI friend. I'm O, ready to explore the world through your eyes. What are we looking at today? Hi, oh. We're looking at a person wearing a black leather jacket and a light-colored shirt. They're in a room with a modern industrial feel, with exposed concrete or plaster on the ceiling and some interesting lighting. There's also a plant in the background, adding a touch of green to the space. Anything specific you'd like to know or explore? Hey there. Sounds like quite the stylish scene. I'm already intrigued by the modern industrial vibe. Let's start with the person. Can you tell me more about their style? Are they doing anything interesting like reading, working, or interacting with the space? The person has a sleek and stylish look with their black leather jacket and light colored shirt. Right now, they seem engaged with us, looking directly at the camera. Their expression is attentive, and they seem ready to interact. The setting around them, with its modern and industrial design elements, adds to the overall stylish feel. They might be getting ready for a conversation or a presentation, given their direct engagement with the camera. Sounds like we're in for an intriguing interaction. I'm curious about the lighting you mentioned. Could you describe it a bit more? Is it natural light, or are we talking unique fixtures or colors that add to the atmosphere? The lighting here seems to be a mix of natural and artificial. There's a noticeable bright light overhead, probably a fixture, casting a focused beam downwards, which creates a spotlight effect. This adds a dramatic and modern feel to the scene. The rest of the room is lit more softly. Possibly by natural light filtering. Was in, anything, or, or did anything unusual sources. happen recently? Yes, actually. Uh, just as you asked, uh, another person came into view behind the first person. They playfully made bunny ears behind the first person's head and then quickly left the frame. It added a, a lighthearted and unexpected moment to the scene. And now the focus is back on the original person with the leather jacket. Sounds like we're not the only ones enjoying a bit of fun here. That playful moment really adds a personal touch to the stylish and modern setting. It's like a little glimpse into Thank the you personality. Thank you both. Really appreciate it. All right. And actually, can you uh, just sing a song about what just transpired? Oh, in a room with a stylish view, a person stood in sleek black and light hue. Engage with us so, so direct. And can you just, can you uh, alternate lines? Mm -hmm. Person with style and speed, person with style and sleek. With a playful moment right in the midst, in the room. In a room where modern lights speak. Only one line at a time and then stop. In a room where modern lights peak. A surprise guest with a playful streak. That was not really singing. Do, do, do the singing voice again, please. In a room where modern lights peak. Surprise guests with a playful streak. Honey ears and laughter, a swift retreat. A moment of joy in the stylish suite. Now back to focus, the scene's complete. In the chic space where style and play meet. Looks like it's back to you. 
and thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for checking out our AI-based videos at W3W. Your visiting and interacting are sources of motivation to keep on going in this brand new world of unprecedented AI innovation. Of course, we invite you to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you soon. And may the force of AI be with you always.